very good afternoon to all of you and welcome for 68th aicog tv and with me uh, is dr nandita palchetkar the most beautiful charming well known infertility expert madam is uh, president of mumbai obstetrics and gynecology society and she is a chief of uh, ivf department at leelawati hospital uh, at the outset let me thank you madam for accepting our invite to be here on aicog tv and uh, we would like to have your key insight on optimizing iui success so uh, when is this iui done and why uh, i think uh, i gave a talk at the cg saraya cme on optimizing iui results iui is one of the simplest technique which is done by all the gynecologists all over the country so when is a good question because the success rates are only between 10 to 15% so if you can select your patients according to etiology i think you have good results like patients with unexplained infertility mild male factor pcos these patients would give very good results with iui whereas endometriosis uh, you know uh, these kind of patients have a lower success rate uh, how to do iui in a best way ma'am uh, that i think the everything applies selection of the patient and i think the ovarian stimulation is also a very very important part of the iui process in improving pregnancy rates glomifin citrate everybody uses but if you add gonadotropins to this stimulation protocol it definitely increases the rate so with glomifin if the success rate is 20 25% cumulative pregnancy rate with gonadotropins it's nearly 30 to 35% and i'm telling you to put gonadotropin not all the time because the whole, usually the question is that it's too expensive so what we do is we give clomiphene citrate for 5 days and on the 7th day we start with gonadotropins daily and it definitely improves your pregnancy rate without burdening the patient with too much cost ma'am over a period of last couple of years with the availability of newer and newer drugs or maybe a recombinant preparation has there been a change in the success rate of iui or is it the same what was there a few years back good question i think uh, in iui it does not matter whether you use recombinant or urinary uh, products or highly purified products but yes when it comes to ivf i feel we get a little extra number of eggs extra embryos and more embryos for freezing and i feel that way we get more cycles from a recombinant uh, gonadotropin but otherwise i don't think there's any difference in in fact all the cochrane reviews also say that uh, they give equally good results okay uh, what are the in clinic tips that you would like to give for optimizing or increasing the success rate of iui are there any one or two or three tips for the uh, for doing this procedure? i think uh, in my lecture i also i mentioned them and they are really a uh, very simple trip tips if you have an ultrasound machine in your clinic do the iui under ultrasound guidance it definitely makes difficult transfers easy secondly the sample keeps lying in your clinic i think that is very important the ejaculation to insemination interval should not be more than 90 minutes very very important to remember the other point is that supposing the wash up is done to insemination also should be between 20 to 40 minutes these timings are really important to improve and important to remember abstinence abstinence should not be more than 2 to 3 days it definitely reduces the pregnancy rate in these patients and a lot of times we use swim up technique but density gradient for the wash technique is definitely superior and i think you know if you select your patients use these good standard operating procedures the pregnancy rate with iui will definitely good and not more than 3 to 6 cycles if your patient is younger than uh, 35 3 to 6 is fine but if she is older than 35 just perform two or three iui cycles only because she'll get better results with ivf than with iui if you don't succeed in the first two or three cycles thank you very much ma'am thanks a lot for those wonderful tips and i think this will definitely help for the budding gynecologist and the budding ivf specialist to do this procedure in a more confident way thank you very much I think I must congratulate MQR on taking this endeavor because not everybody gets to see 
uh, or listen to all the lectures and I think this short brief which you got from me is really helpful to everybody. So once again congratulations MKR, I think it's a wonderful endeavour and we should do it every time. Every year we'll, we, we promise here to do it, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.